Remember when building a website or an app meant endless hours of coding in HTML, CSS, JavaScript and other related languages? Or maybe you gave a small fortune to a developer only to spend weeks in back and forth dance just to update a button color. Even the simplest tweaks could turn into an epic saga worthy of its own Netflix series. Thankfully, those days are behind us now. Thanks to AI, creating a beautiful functional website is as easy as describing your idea and letting the magic happen. With tools like Lovable, all you need is a clear vision and a knack for prompts. Lovable's AI-powered platform turns ideas into ready-to-go web pages in minutes. But wait, before you jump into Lovable, here is a crucial step you don't want to miss. Note down your website idea clearly. You can use any simple note-taking app like Notion, Google Keep, or even a plain doc. Then convert that idea into a crisp, clear prompt with an LLM like ChatGPT. Remember, better prompts equals better websites. Let's say I want to create a single page personal website that encourages people to sign up for a newsletter on AI news tools and tips. Based on the diagram above, I will first note down everything I want to be there on the screen. Let's have a look at the notes I have created. So I have written the end goal first. Suppose you want to create a one page personal website using Lovable. The end goal of the website is to get visitors to sign up for your newsletter on AI tools and news. And I have given specific information for the website below. The website name I want is no AI. The page structure will be single page website. That means there won't be any buttons that leads to any other web pages. Then I have divided my single page website into three sections. The first section is why you should sign up to the newsletter. I have noted down three reasons and also I have added that the CTA of this section should be a sign up button. The second section displays latest in AI, which will be three cards with the latest AI news. And the third section will be who am I? The intention here is to showcase my profile and entice people to sign up to the newsletter. And also to entice them, I have made my profile such that it portrays me as someone who knows AI and has been around AI for some time. So I have added this imaginary information and I think this much is sufficient to generate a solid prompt using ChatGPT. Now, this step is highly recommended. This level of structured thinking will help you generate the most useful, efficient and beautiful website possible using tools like Lovable. So I'll copy this entire note I have written and paste it in ChatGPT. I'll ask GPT to generate a solid prompt for Lovable and press enter and it's generating. So it seems like it has generated. I'll just quickly go through it and check if all I want in the prompt through my notes is there or not. And I think I have a solid prompt. I'm happy with it. So I will copy this entire thing and I'll paste it in lovable. And it's generating the website. This may take some time, so I'll fasten this up. And as you can see, it has built this stunning website. So uh, let me view this in a new window by clicking on the preview button. And there you have it. So it has generated a sign up button, a subscribe now button, another subscribe now button where you can fill your email ID. The section one of my website is as I have prompted. 
Then if I look at section two, it has added placeholder cards along with the heading latest in AI. And section three says exactly how I wrote in my prompt along with a description. This is pretty amazing. And the footer of the website also says no AI. It has generated a, its own caption and another subscribe button. Uh, okay, on clicking on the subscribe button, it took me directly to the first fold. Similarly, let us check the other two buttons. If I sign up, if I click on sign up, I reached on the subscribe now section. Similarly, when I press on subscribe now, I reach the section. Wow, like even without me prompting, Lovable understood my requirement and added all the functionalities for logical functioning of the website. That's pretty amazing. Uh, another thing we can check is when I try to sign up with my email ID. Let's say I sign, try to sign up with my personal email ID and I press subscribe now. Wow, you can see a success happening here. This is pretty amazing. But one thing you got to understand while building a website is that when someone logs in or signs up, you got to save that data somewhere. For that, you need to create a database. And currently, we have not created any database. So I will go back to Lovable and use Superbase to create my database. But before going to Superbase, I noticed something about my website. When I scroll to the third section, I see that it is not my image here, but a placeholder. So let's get this sorted. What I'll do is I'll take a quick screenshot. Upload it in the chat. Then I'll attach my image from the local system. And I'll ask Lovable to replace the placeholder with my image in the circle. Make sure my face is in the center of the circle. And I'll press enter. Oh, I think I turned on the caps. And now we wait. Hmm, I think it's done with the task and the website is updating again. And when we scroll down, wow, it's perfect. In fact, it has also added a colored circle. Perfect. Now that we are done with the image problem, let's go on to create our database. So I'll click on this green icon, which is the manage super base icon on the top right of the screen. and I'll then click on connect Superbase. Now, since I do not have an ID, I'll click on sign up now and I'll quickly create my ID along with the password. I'll click on sign up. Then I will verify it through my Gmail. Perfect. So Superbase is open now. Perfect. So I'll let the name be what it has suggested. I'll select the free plan and I'll create organization. I'll select my region as Mumbai since I'm in India. And I'll create new project. Okay, I'll have to set up a database password. So I will add a random password. Perfect. And I'll copy and save it somewhere. And then I'll click on create new project. It seems like the new project has been created. Now I'll go back to Lovable. And then I'll click on the Superbase icon again. I'll again click on Connect Superbase. 
perfect now it's uh, uh, asking me to authorize lovable for this organization that i have set up there is no other organization uh i'll authorize lovable and wow you can see that our organization has been connected to superbase and it is saying please connect to a project to get started now the project's name is also abhiraj adrit and artex with the.com's project i did not change the name of my project so i'll simply press connect here and it is showing me view tables we won't make any changes at this step and you can always disconnect and i think it's fine it's just a cautionary message i'll click on connect again and wow it's showing me that it has connected and in fact it has also given me a notification on the bottom right of the screen so i'll simply cross this and whenever i enter an email id it says thank you for subscribing to our newsletter and this thing is saved in superbase now i'll check the project dashboard over here and see if the email id that i just added to register to the newsletter is added to a table or any other form of database so i'll click here on the left hand side of the screen you will see database i'll click on it and wow uh, it says no tables created yet uh, and if i try to create table manually it is pretty hectic and too technical for me i'll go back to lovable and add ensure that the email ids entered to subscribe to the news letter is saved in our table in the database and i'll click enter and now we'll wait it's taking a bit too long it seems like there is some error let me just refresh my screen okay seems like it has not taken my prompt i'll press enter again and now it's working you can see that it has generated an sql code and it is asking me to check it and if i'm fine with it i'll apply changes since i'm too lazy to read the sql code i'll just apply changes it has automatically entered a prompt when i click the apply change button and it is executing the sql code for the database perfect it looks like it is going well perfect it says that now when a user subscribes to your newsletter their email ids will be securely stored in your superbase database perfect since nothing has been saved now our table should be empty i'll simply add a new email id test at the rate newsletter dot com i'll press the subscribe now button it has given me the notification of a successful registration and now i'll click on view data in table editor a new window opens up and on the left hand side of the screen in the table editor i can see a new table i'll click on it and perfect our database is working successfully and there you have it in just a few simple steps noting your idea crafting a clear prompt generating with lovable and connecting with superbase you can go from a blank page to a fully functional professional looking website the world of website building has never been more accessible whether you are starting a blog launching a product or just experimenting tools like lovable put the power right at your fingertips 
no coding degree required. In fact, I am from a non-tech background and I built this site just with my imagination and inquiry. So start jotting down your ideas today and build your dream website in minutes. And for more such content, do like, share and subscribe.